Hey, LABC, welcome, welcome to, to Reset, Reset 2023. 2023. This week we are going to be talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and we're emphasizing the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge today, which is day eight. We're standing in front of our building at Lake Area Bible Church. And you know, it was through the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom that we purchased this building. Honey, briefly tell us that story. Well, it was really supernatural. We were at a meeting in um, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and uh, the, a minister was there and he taught on uh, suddenlies. And so I was just driving by this, uh, this building we have been on this road before, and then suddenly something just came into my heart. This would make a great building, and it had to be a, a work of faith because it was so uh, dilapidated. And but but when you, God gives you something, He sees the in, the end before the beginning, and so it was pretty awesome. Yeah, and so you know we have driven by here so many times, but there's a word of knowledge that comes from God. And that word said to you in your heart, this would be a great building. Yes. yes. You know, it's getting a little windy outside. Why don't we just go on inside now to finish the story? Hey, how about I race you? Oh, that sounds great. Okay. <laughs> You know, oh. I have a plan. Whoever gets there first is the winner. The loser has to pay for lunch, clean the house, and oh, clean the kitty litter box. You ready? Okay, we're gonna do on your mark, and then on three. On your mark, get set. One, two, hey! Honey, come back! Come back! I didn't count to three! Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, free lunch, house cleaned, and most important, the litter box cleaned. Oh. Wonder where he oh here he is oh, now. My. Well, I'll buy you lunch, but it's only because I love you. Oh, thank you, baby. You know, last week I think the emphasis was on the nine fruit of the spirit, and this week is going to be on the nine gifts of the spirit. And uh this is found in First Corinthians chapter twelve. We're going to start with verse seven. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man or every believer to profit. This is for our benefit. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kind, kinds of tongues, and to another, the interpretation of tongues. And so these are the nine gifts that we will be studying. Okay, let's go ahead and begin today on the word of knowledge. We know there are nine gifts of the Spirit, and they're found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And what is the meaning of the word of knowledge? Now, knowledge, the word of knowledge is a supernatural gift. All of these are supernatural gifts. They're not just knowledge that comes by studying or anything like that. And the definition of the word of knowledge is a supernatural revelation by the Holy Spirit of certain facts in the mind of God. Amen. And, um, you know, when we were telling the story of, of you driving by and all of a sudden, you had that word drop in you, 
that you never thought about before, as many times as we've driven by here, that this would make a wonderful church building. Well, that was a word of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And God supernaturally put that on your heart. And, you know, God is all-knowing. And the thing about the gifts of the Holy Spirit is that it is for every believer. And, you know, maybe you're out there today and you're thinking, well, only pastors or evangelists or somebody super spiritual can operate in the gifts of the Spirit. But that's not true. The Bible says He gives to every man, every believer, severally as He wills the Spirit. And so I want you to reset your thinking about this, that you can use the gifts of the Spirit as the Holy Spirit leads you, just like everybody else can. And it's a wonderful thing that God has given us these to help us in our everyday life, but also to help and minister to others. And we're going to look, you know, as far as uh, uh, getting the building, we did that. And, you know, one thing about receiving a word of knowledge or anything from the Lord, you have to act on it. Mm -hmm. He could have had that download the word of knowledge this is a good building for church and then just forgotten about it but you must act on what give god gives you and i'm pretty sure it was close to the next day you know that we just we came up here mm -hmm. you know and met the people and then found out that it was for sale which we didn't know absolutely uh, that day in fact they said that the boss had said we're going to sell this building. That's right, just like that. Yeah. And so uh, God just opened this door, and then um, we'll talk about the word of wisdom in just a minute, because once we receive the knowledge and we acted on it, then he began to give us wisdom about the future plans for LABC. Mm -hmm. But let's look real quickly just at as an, an example of the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom is in this one story. Remember when Paul Saul was on the road to Damascus and he's the one that was killing and persecuting all the Jews. And then he had this um, one supernatural experience when the heavenly light came down and not he fell off of his horse and and you know he had a transformation during that time and they led him into Damascus now while he was there this is in acts chapter 9 there was it says a certain disciple mm -hmm. It didn't say there was a certain priest or apostle. It was a believer, just like you and I. And he had this encounter with the word of knowledge where he, it was actually, I think, a vision that he said, uh, he heard God speak to him and say, Arise, go to a street called Straight, and ask Judas, who's the head of the house, about Saul. For he's praying. And so he received this word of knowledge. He had um, he had no idea Saul was there, mm -hmm. or that he was even had, had this experience, mm -hmm. and that he was praying all a word of knowledge. And so um, anyway, he continued to say that he had seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming, laying hands on him that he might receive his sight. And so, you know, at first he questioned a little bit because who wants to go see Saul that's persecuting all the Christians, but God convinced him. And so that was the word of knowledge that God used to speak to Ananias concerning Saul. And you know what? He got up and he obeyed. He didn't say, oh, let me think about it. Maybe I'll do it next week. How many times have we put things off or held back? Oh, let's have a reset to where we can go when he speaks to us. And so that is a wonderful example of word of knowledge, giving you information, you know, and this usually a word of knowledge is in the present or it can be something that has already happened to someone in the past. Now let's hook this 
word of knowledge up with the word of wisdom. Now, the word of wisdom is a supernatural revelation by the Holy Spirit concerning the divine purpose and plan in the mind and the will of God. And wisdom is future information. And so continuing on in this story with Ananias, uh, many times the gifts of the Spirit work together. Yeah. It happens a lot. So he had the location. He had that he's there right now praying that you can lay your hands on him. So he followed through. Saul received his sight. But then he kept on speaking to him. And he said in Acts 9.15, God started giving him a word of wisdom about Saul's future. Mm -hmm. And this is what it says. For he is a chosen vessel unto me, for I will show him things he must suffer for my name's sake. And so see, that was a word of wisdom that was working right along with knowledge. And, and God spoke to Ananias the future events that was going to happen in, in, in Saul's life. Of course, he was later became Paul. And we do see that that really came to life, that he did suffer a lot, you know, for, for the gospel's sake. Amen. But, you know, the, the gifts of the Spirit can work in your life for every believer's. And they are gifts from God to equip us and to help us function more perfectly in the plan and will of God. It can be inspirational for you, but you can be used with the gifts of the Spirit, not just inside the church building. But I think the most important thing is that we start allowing these gifts to go outside the four walls. Because I tell you, there's nothing like a supernatural gift when it is administered to those who are discouraged or even outside uh, God's kingdom to draw them and to let them know how much God really, really loves them. And so your assignment this week as we're studying the gifts of the Spirit is to just look into the Word of God. Now, also, do you know we're be, we've been teaching on the gifts of the Spirit on Wednesday night? And I want to encourage you, come on Wednesday nights, because when you study God's Word and get that deep root, you get information that you might not know about that can really change your life. So let's reset our thinking about how God can use us individually and that you get this revelation. And you know, I just pray today that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, that you might know what your hope and call in Christ is, and that you might know that everything in the Word of God is for you as a believer. So reset that stinking thinking. Reset that, oh, I can't do it, I'm scared. He'll give you boldness and just get ready in 2023 to step forth into God's plan like never before, to study the Word of God concerning the gifts of the Spirit, and then just have the boldness and the confidence that when you step out in faith, He's gonna meet you there and He's gonna use you in a great and a mighty way. Well, we sure love you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and hope to see you soon. Well, that was a blessing, the, the message today. The word Thanks is always lot. good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, so what about lunch? Do you want to have the lunch? Yep, you owe me lunch, don't you? Well, how about a rematch then? You're kidding. A rematch? A rematch. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll race you to the car. And if I win, you still have to clean the litter box. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So it'll be on three. Okay. On your mark, get set. It happened again.